Welcome to Wednesday Night League of Legends. Tonight we're going to have facing off the Post Eagles, your home team, up against uh, Sunny P Potsdam. Uh, it's going to be University of New York there. Um, that should be a pretty good game tonight. Uh, going to be best of three games as always. We'll see who can take home the win. Uh, the Eagles did not have their best showing the last game. I'm sure we can all uh, agree on that. But the game just before that, they did pull off their first win for the season. So we'll, we'll see what they're able to do here. Um, we are getting into picks and bans here. So draft phase is happening now. First couple bands have been gone through, and the first round of picks have been done. Uh, they're just going to be putting in their second rounds of bands here. Um, so we'll see for the Eagles. Looks like we're going to be having the Zyra Rakan in the bottom lane, and they chose Darwin uh, in the jungle there. So he's going to be a um, really good engage tool there alongside the Rakan. Uh, Zyra is always able to scale into the late game pretty well, get a lot of good team fighting. So pretty good core there for the bottom jungle rolls. Looking over on the sunny side here, looks like they uh, countered with the they went with the Tark Siver lane here, um, and then the Silas potentially jungle or middle. He's a little bit of a flex pick. He can play a few different roles there. So we'll see where Sunny decides to send him. Um, Last bit of bans going through. Looks like uh, Post decided to ban out some top laners and a jungle there uh, with the Gnar and the Nunu coming in. And then uh, looks like Sunny there banning out Malzahar. Ryanite has played a few games of him there, so banning out Ryanite's Malzahar. And then the Malphite ban comes through. Um, pretty sure S'mores is top there, normally not sure. He might have played a Malphite game or two, but... Uh, they're going to ban that out so that they can pick the Darius pretty freely there. We'll see what uh, post-Eagles decide to come up with here to counter the <coughs> Darius as they have the counter pick here. Do look like they came up with the Mordekaiser and now another counter pick coming through for the side of Sunny here. You think maybe they did Silas jungle uh, could be middle and they could pick the jungle now. It would be a little weird although that's what flex picks to provide you the opportunity to do. Um, so yeah we'll see what the, the side of Sunny is thinking here. Pots them. And last second pick. Cassiopeia is locked in. Okay, so that's probably that's a mid laner right there. Um, I guess you could flex some of those picks around. We're going to assume for now Cassiopeia mid, Darius top, Silas jungle, Siver Tark bottom for the side of Sunny. Over on the Eagles here, uh, looks like we're going to be rolling with the Rakan, Zaya bot lane, Jarvan in the jungle there, mid lane with the action, and then uh, Mordekaiser up in the top. Overall, pretty crazy, uh, pretty good draft. Uh, pff, some flex, but opportunity on the side of Sunny, although I think they are going to probably stay with those positions we just named, although there is some opportunity for some spice, some swaps going there if they so desire, particularly with uh, things like Darius, Silas could be swapped out. I've seen a couple Cassiopeia's tops, so all three of those roles could be moved around just a little if they so desired. Um, on the side of the Eagles, action. I haven't seen too much action coming in here, so we'll see who's that's in the hands of. Seemingly middle Ryanite uh, up against the Cassiopeia. Could be a tough matchup. Um, early on, you should be he should be able to do pretty good. And then later on, uh, Cassiopeia definitely scales pretty well and is able to lock him down a little bit easier. But... He is able to boomerang around, so we'll see what he gets into there. You're duller than a broken sandwich. All right. And now, of course, uh, draft phase has gone through. They're just going to go ahead and walk us through the, the steps here and pick out what they actually picked in the draft editor here. Um, Maybe a couple cheeky flashes, we'll see. Some Milios and some Yumis out there. Um, but yeah, overall... I think I like uh, Post's team better in this one, actually. 
Not in love with the action. Uh, leaves your team a little bit weak on the ability power side. Now you do have the Mordekaiser, which I believe will be in the hands of... Uh, I'm seeing Coach Denny in the jungle this time around. Sorry, they <laughs> swap around a lot. So, um... Seemingly going to be the Mordekaiser top. Jarvan in the hands of Coach Denny is going to be playing uh, jungle this time around. Um, does not look like they have their full roster, unfortunately. S'mores seems to be the one AFK this time around. Uh, Wing Hong Yu normally plays the jungle. Plays a lot of Mordekaiser jungle, actually. Uh, looks like he's going to have the duty of taking that up to the top lane here. J4 in the jungle for Coach Denny. We've seen that once or twice. Prime Engager, good good tools for Engage. Doesn't scale into the late game very well though, so uh, Zaya and Action are really going to have to scale here along with the Mordekaiser. And then uh, Rakan and Jarvan for the Engage tools. Hmm... Yep, so... Uh, S'mores is out this week. Looks like uh, Wing Hong Yu taking the top role. He's normally jungle. Coach Denny filling in for the jungle role. And then everybody else in their normal roles. We'll have action on the hands of Ryanite in the middle. Chrome Sue picking up the Zaya paired up nicely with the Rakan duo laying down there for Robot. Um, over on the other side here, Sunny Potsdam looks like... Uh, Darius is staying in the top lane, Silas in the jungle, Cassiopeia in the middle, Sivert. I'm going to be taking that bot lane roll there along with the Tark. A lot less engage from that bot lane on the side of Sunny, however, a lot more disengage. Their engage tools mainly rely on the Silas... Uh, a little bit of Darius... Cassio P. It looks like they have a very good counter engage team. So this is really the only one that's normally going to be continuously walking forward. Tark can too, of course. So he's decent engaged. But from the range and dashes that people like Darvin, Action, and Rakan are going to be able to do, be able to dash out of the way of those Tark stuns. Yeah, we'll see how it all plays out. Um, definitely Chrome Sue is going to be a big. A uh, person to keep an eye on here for the mid to later game role on the side of the Eagles. Um, side of Sunny, they have a few people that could kind of pop off and carry them into the late game. So we'll see how that rolls out. Uh, between the Cassiopeia, the Siver, and the Silas can all get very strong. So yeah, going into game number one, Wednesday night, League of Legends, week number eight. Post Eagles up against Sunny Potsdam. Should be a pretty fun night here. We're going to have about another 2 minutes, 40 seconds before we actually load into the game as the good old spectator delay ticks on down there. Um, so yeah, if you have 2 minutes here, go ahead, get your drinks, get what you need, get your chips, snacks, and uh, we will be getting on the show on the road here momentarily. Action. I haven't seen too much action here. That's uh, it's gonna be an interesting one to keep an eye on there. Maybe Ryan and I's been practicing some, uh, getting some game reps in there. Let's see if I can uh, get these other players' names here for you while we're waiting. There we go. Okay, so it looks like for the side of Sunny here, we're going to have up in the top lane here, uh, Tie-Dye is going to be on the Darius. Sir Griefs a lot is in the jungle, most likely on this Silas here. Garble Petal, <laughs> Garble, sorry, Garble Peels in the mid lane there. I'm um, going to be the Turtle Wax in the bot lane. And then... Um, 
get the support in a second. Can't quite get this ad to go away, so it's over his name. There it is. Plague Doc 242. It's going to be on the Targ. For the side of Sunny. It's always Sunny. New York, Philadelphia. <laughs> I'm glad to see Robots back. He was missing for a few games, matches there. Coach Denny going to be filling in for s'mores this time around. I'm sure he'll be missed. He normally fulfills a pretty commanding top role there. Plays really good team champs, utility champs. Um, pretty tanky guys that are able to just front line and uh, dictate the team fights. Mordekaiser can perform a pretty similar role there, so that's probably why they did that role swap, putting him in the top lane there. Alright, then we're getting into game number one here. If you're just joining in, week eight, Eagles up against P Potsdam. Um, first game of the night here. It's always best of three. So you can uh, take match number one. See if the Eagles can pull off another win for their season. See if I get the spectator bug. That's a uh, pretty common one here. It's about 50% of the time I get the spectator bug loading in. So we'll see how uh, we roll this time around. Zero ping, not always a great sign, but. <laughs> Hello. It's me, your caster Pyro. Oh, spectator bug. That's not a good damage roll. All right. So, as always, we'll just get a little reconnect action here. Don't mind me. <laughs> and away we go. Now we're getting into the action. Um... <clears throat> Ready for some Wednesday night League of Legends. Should be some exciting stuff. Some uh, pretty volatile lanes. Some good one on ones. We'll see what everybody's thinking. Subjective timers on. I always like to keep chat on just to see what they're saying. <laughs> Scoreboard up for our juicy details. And let me even try one other thing to see if this Welcome actually works. Oh my goodness, wind. it does. I can zoom in it out. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Okay, we'll utilize that throughout these big team fights. The, the new spectator tool I've learned. The, uh, the zoom out for the bigger team fights. No matching skins? How could they? I am disgusted. Minions has Forfeit spawned. of 15. Alright, so we see no uh, no level 1 scuffles happening here. Everybody playing pretty respective. Nice little deep ward there from Denny uh, on the side of uh, Post Eagles here dropping that deep ward on the red. Good information, knowing that he's not doing a top side start. So now is the silence for the starting line blue. Seems to be unknown if Sonny knows where Darwin is starting. He is starting with blue. 
Looks like he'll be taking a uh, top to bot player into a nice bot lane gank. Zaya is going to be who they're going to be trying to play through here for a lot of their damage, I would only have to imagine. Crumbs, who's been able to kite out a lot of these fights as we see well. Hmm, Mordecai's picking up all three of those melees with that hammer there. That always feels good. Oh, Robot trying to go in, get a knockoff, misses it. Chrome's been trying to get some return damage down on the Tark here. See what action can pull off here. Ooh, misses the little boomerang thing. Oh, Tark going and gets the double stun. Tark with a huge stun will re-engage here by the Wakanda. Maybe Tark bit off a little more than he could chew. Has to flash away. First blood goes down to Chrome's. He takes out the uh, Sivir there. Wing Hong Yu going down not too long after from the Flash Ignite there. So that's a one to one. Each team has a kill. One on the bot side, one on the top side. Wang Hung Yu drops to Darius uh, to tie die up there. And then uh, Turtle Wax does go down to Chrome. So you in the bot lane here. Does take out the Sivir. Huge, huge advantage in the side of Eagles in the bot. And then a big side advantage on the top lane for Sunny here. Posing up for a nice little equal match up here. Oh, yin yang. Something to note, Sivir did lose a large chunk of minions to that bottom tower when she died there. So not only did she go down for first blood, she did lose some experience and gold in that wave going into the tower there. It's okay, Tyler. Leo can uh, say what he wants there. Um, Silas going to be picking up the first scuttle on top side here. Looks like he might be uh, thinking about taking a top room here. Um, however, Mordekaiser's wave's pushed in, so he's he's a pretty safe spot here from a gank. Still, still taking a look at it, though. We'll see if he pushes out that top side or not. Down on the bot side here, though, Robot and Chrome's you farming up nicely. They were able to get that re-engage kill there. Oh, Mordekaiser's wave is pushing out here, so pull in from the Darius. We'll see if is able to live. Has a nice pullback, however, the follow-up from the Silas to stun him down. Can Wing Hong Yu survive? The flash in from the Silas is able to get the last auto there. Uh, Jarvan gank here on the bot lane, though. They do get the Tark knock up, a lot of CC on him. Robot's able to take him down. So once again, one dies in the top and one dies in the bot. Alright, so we'll keep up with this trend here. Uh oh, uh, Sivir does get caught up by Robot there. Chromes, he was able to take him down with the feather pullback. Chromes, you 2 and 0 oh, early on on this side. Yeah, that's gotta be feeling pretty good for the side of the Eagles. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Sunny's playing through the top and jungle here. Silas with the one kill, Darius with one kill as well. Okay, exciting stuff. So, strong bottom side from the Eagles here. And then, uh, Pot Stam pulling off a nice top lane jungle duo here with the, the re -gang. This does leave the uh, first strike open to the side of the Eagles here as they burn this down. They had nice bot lane pressure. We're able to pull it up into the Drake sector there. And Hextech Drake is the first one to go down. That means we will not have the Hextech Soul. We'll see on the third Drake spawn there what our soul will be. I was maybe tracking again towards the top side here. He's uh, he's hungry. They're camping that top lane there, seeing what they can get. Flashless Wang Hong Yu here. This might be a, a little bit of a bad spot for him here. Darius pulls in. Follow up damage comes through. Silas comes in with the chains. Corruption. The Ignite is even dropped from the Darius, but the big shield from Mordekaiser should be enough to keep him alive there. We'll have the base here. Potentially a bad wave state we shall see. A lot of pressure going on the top side of the map there for uh, Sunny Potsdam here. The Recon Dash does go in. Sipper shields for Recon Dash a little wide though. Feather pullback might be able to grab uh, Tark here. Tark has to flash out. Follow up from J4. J4 does flag and drag in. Another double knockup from Robot there. 
and a double kill. Well, not double kill. One kill to Chromesu and one kill to Coach Denny there uh, for a two kills on the side of the Eagles. Eagles do pick up two kills. Bot lane there. Super heavy pressure on the bottom side here. Uh, that should accelerate Zaya's scaling quite a bit. 302, seven minutes into the game. 300 gold bounty. Chrome Sue is going to be feeling pretty good right about now. Oh, a little close on that cannon there. Uh, Silas looking to track mid here now. Uh, Garble peels though, not a lot of mana, so I don't know how much he'll actually be able to do here. Um, if he had enough mana for all, he probably would have been able to lock Ryanite down for a follow up on Silas. However, J Ford, Coach Denny would have been there to follow that back up for the counter engage, so. All hypothetical stuff, none of that actually happened. <laughs> Darius has a nice little lead here. He has two kills down on the Mordekaiser. I would say a uh, bigger overall game advantage, though. Definitely to the side of the Eagles here with those kills on bot lane. A lot of times getting your kills under the hands of the ADC, especially when you're playing around it. Um, oh boy, here we go. One on one. Wait a second. Double ult. Both used ult and Wang Hong Yu able to get the solo kill. Oh my goodness, I kind of want to replay that. I was busy talking. Um, so I believe, uh, I mean, Darius went in. He didn't have Ignite, so he didn't have that advantage. And uh, stacked up his stuff, tried to get down Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser's shield when he ults uh, into his own realm there, though. Able to get him a big enough shield to stay alive. And he's able to solo kill with Darius. That is humongous for the Eagles. Robot looking for some angles here, trying to get in there. Now Zaya did just tick to level 6, so she will have her alt here. Often better used for disengaging, however it can still be used to get a little extra damage drop there when need be. Rift Herald dropped uh, in the mid lane here by Coach Denny. They were able to pick that up off a of solo kill that Wing Hong Yu got top lane there. Here we go, bottom lane fight though. Krums, you going in on Turtle Wax, does the feather, does his ult, doesn't have the angle to pull the feathers back though, and not quite enough damage on the Turtle Wax. Robot does finally take down Sivir there. However, it did cost Krums, use life, so that's a one-for-one one trade. Both attack damage carries drop. Robot and Tarek are now support playing together. <laughs> uh, Ryanite, doing what he can here. Uh, not too bad, actually. He's only down a little bit of farm. Um, hasn't given over any kills. Neither has a Cassiopeia for a neutral lane from both sides in the middle there. A lot, a lot happening everywhere else around the map. People dying top, people dying bot. Mid lane, they're just chilling. They're farming it out. Little teleport back from Ryanite, get his CS. Cassiopeia uh, took Ghost. Pretty standard, won't have teleport to get back to lane. However, oh, hold on, we have a Silas just blast coned over. Looks like there might be a little bit of a bot lane fight here. Um, and maybe not. This is looking more interesting over here. There we go, look at, look at that. All right, so now we can see Ryanite thinking about coming down here as Chrome's you and the robot looking to hold on tight here. Uh, po not post, post looking to try and get some words down on this Drake as Sunny is starting it up here. Sunny starting up Drake. They have four people here. I doubt the Eagles will be able to contest this. We might go for some kind of steal. A little man around there, so that's not going to happen. Sunny does pick up the second Drake of the game. That's going to be a Mountain Drake. One to one on the Drakes. We're just passing the 10 to 11 minute mark. Hold on, Chromesu might have walked up too forward there. Uh, trying to take out those woods. Chromesu goes down. Huh. 
side of Sunny there was about to reset. And uh, Chrome Seal was going to go clear out some of his wards in the Dragon Pit. However, he did not wait long enough. And uh, he got picked up by the side of Potsdam there. They were able to lock him down and take him out. Not exactly ideal if you are Chrome Seal there. You gotta gotta let those those wards hang out there for a second or two. Oh, Blake Doc maybe looking around uh, coming on a flank on Ryan Knight here. Ryan Knight's able to kinda see him and get out of there. It's pretty hard to gank action, to be honest. He does have an ability where he can just slingshot as G4 does flag and drag in on the tie-dye. Tie-dye being pulled into Mordecai's around here, though. Uh, whoo! Sir griefs a lot. Uses Jarvan's ultimate on himself, as that is Silas's ultimate ability. Steal your ult and use it on you. Um, as Mordecai's are trying to chase down the Silas, he'll probably be able to get over this wall. Not too much else will happen there. That's a one-for-one. Tie-dye goes down, and Coach Denny goes down. Pretty even game here, still 8 to 7, 21k to 21k, gold's about even, 1 to 1 Drakes. This is looking, shaping up to be a pretty good game here. Only 13 minutes in, but it couldn't be much more even. There. Mm -hmm. Ryan, I about to get this mid lane turn here. They did commit the uh, earlier rip Herald to it, trying to get some poke damage down onto Cassiopeia. Drops his alt, does a little bit of damage. Nothing too exciting there. Mordecai is really hanging in tough here. He's uh. One, he's normally their jungler. J4 coming around here as Tie-Dye decides to completely dive the tower. Coach Denny should be able to clean this one up here. Alts in and takes down Tie-Dye. Uh, Darius, though, did get the kill under power. J4 there, able to pick him up. Here goes the full engage from Cassiopeia here. Does alt, gets the stun. Ryan and trying to do what he can, but he didn't have his dash to get out of there. So, um... It was really just kind of caught standing still there by Cassiopeia. She was able to take him down. She did commit her alt. Still has flash and ghosts though, so that was uh, just quite the death there from Ryan Knight, unfortunately. He's doing well there. Uh, robot and Chrome suit here. They've been the uh, stars of the show so far this game. A lot of kills have gone down this bot side here. Has evened out a little bit though. There's the, the Sivir Tarek lane here. Does pose some uh, pretty good team fighting once they get their alts. Sivir speeds up the whole team, and as well as gives herself attack speed, and uh, Tark, if you're not familiar, drops his alt channels for a good second. Uh, hold on, as we might have a fight here. Uh, Chrome's you gonna alt him, does the feather drop back, here goes the Tark alt, so now they're both vulnerable, as I was just about to tell you guys, as he uses it. The J4 does alt in, gets both of them, and they're probably gonna be able to lock down the... Ooh. They weren't able to lock down the Orkhan. Robot stays alive there. Just out of tower range. Plague Doc, maybe staying a little too long here. You're probably going to be picked up by the Orkhan Zaya. However, the stun <laughs> saves him, so I was wrong. 10 to 9. 16 minutes in. 28k to 27k. One Drake to one Drake. Or third Drake has spawned. Does look like the Eagles are going to have the advantage here. They had bot lane pushed out. Jungle's here. Mid's able to rotate over. That's 4 feet to one Drake. That's going to be an Eagles drag pick up here. As this will determine 
or had determined it's gonna be a cloud soul here cloud soul is gonna be the additional movement speed throughout some parts of your jungle enemy jungle as well as additional move speed on your ultimate provided uh, you actually obtain the dragon soul of course it's an important part Mid lane here, Tark, kind of looking for a gank on to Rhyonite. Shouldn't be able to find it as uh, Rhyonite's playing it pretty safe and has a pretty decent uh, disengage tool with his boomerang. Sunny clearing out some vision around this Drake. See what they're able to set up. Notably, a lot of item completions are coming through. Almost everybody now has their items complete. Um, at least their first ones. Zaya is actually coming close to having a second item complete with her boots. She probably has the most gold in the game right now. Maybe Jarvan. Coach Denny there has a lot of gold. Silas does have this Herald here. We'll see where he wants to take it. Looks like he's walking towards the top. That's where they've been uh, playing through here. Side eye going in on Coach Denny, however, finds a waiting Mordekaiser in the bush who ults him into his own realm. Let's see if he can take him out. Wang Hong Yu does get the solar bolo, however, does go down to uh, Silas right after. Wasn't really a solo either, but we'll take it. <laughs> solo in the Mordekaiser realm. Now Silas is a little unsure what to do with this Rift Herald. Seemingly some amount of time left on it here. No tower plates up though, so wherever he drops it, it's really going to be some extra pushing pressure. So I'm just going to push that wave and back off for now as J4 is looking to cycle through his camps again as uh, Silas's camps are all coming back up. He'll have to make a pretty, pretty decisive decision here. Looks like he's gonna just push this out and drop that there. Get extra pressure down on the top of the map here. You do see the Eagles running up here. Uh, Zaya Rukon making the lane swap. Mordekaiser is gonna get the bottom now. So, uh, pretty common strategy in League of Legends gonna be once your bot lane takes the bot tower um, that no longer becomes as safe of a lane because you won't be able to farm as easily so you swap with your top lane whichever team gets first tower bot you then swap the top and bot so you're gonna see Sivir and Far from the top there now to enter the Zaya Rakan lane. Tai Tai versus uh, Mordekaiser here. This is the one on one. Wait, no, it's not. Sarvin's here. Flag drag all oh, on top. Coach Denny picking up the kill on to Darius there. Uh, as Silas finds Coach Denny. Uh, ooh, just misses the team to the option there. Doesn't quite get the stun. Wing Hong Yu caught in a little bit of a spot here though. Um, I'm not sure who ulted who there. I think actually Silas ulted Mordekaiser into his realm. That one can get a little confusing when it goes with Silas in this matchup. Uh, oh, Zaya using her alt dark, using her alt few alts going down here. Uh, Rakan still has his. I should use this. Nope, decides not to. Oh, Zaya dashes back in onto the Sivir. Just one auto off. Doesn't quite pick her up. However, Blake Doc 242 here might be dropping down to the Zaya. A little more tanky than you might expect. Uh, perhaps I'm wrong. <laughs> I am. As the flash comes through on the stun there. And uh, Chrome 2 and Robot both drop. To Turtle Wax and Plague Dock there. The Zyra Con lane just barely didn't come through. They weren't quite able to get enough damage on Turtle Wax there. Um, 
there there was an opportunity if Robot would have altered onto the Zaya whenever Grooms you used to scale for a ten. However, split second opportunity. Hard to see in the moment. Hindsight. Always fun fun. It's gonna have a little objective trade here. It's gonna be drag pick up for the side of Sunny and a sneaky 20 minute Baron play from the Eagles here. Let's see if they're able to successfully pick this one up. And it looks like it's dropping how fast it is. They get the smite off and they do. That's gonna be a Baron power play. 20 minutes into the game from the Eagles here. That's a pretty huge pickup as far as neutral objectives go. Um, you don't often get that one this early into the game. So now they're gonna have a lot of pushing pressure. Um, should be looking to push out some of these tier 2 towers. Morikazer is teleporting down. They're going to have to answer that or else they're going to lose this tower. As so we'll see Tarek and Cassiopeia running up there. Silas coming to answer the top lane push with uh, the Darius here. Trying to make sure Zaya Rakan don't get that first down. Wang Hong Yu might actually be in a little bit of trouble here as... Um, the combo between these two. Oof. Yep. Yeah. Macro wise, it made some sense, however, it didn't quite have the setup, and it was a very good response from the side of Sunny Fox. They were there to bring those two as quickly as they did. However, you might be seeing a fight here. Flag and drag from Coach Denny. Coach Denny does have his all. Does go down. Cataclysm able to pick up the Darius here. Another flag and drag dashed out by Sir Grief a lot. Just barely misses the knock up there. Oh, so it's a lot. Goes back in. Immediately deletes Zaya. That was a lot of damage. He did flash in for that. However, Coach Denny flashes out here. Is it going to give him enough distance? Looks like it is going to with the flag and drag out of there. Ooh, that Silas re-engage on to Zaya there. Immediately blew her up. Ryanite, good solo push there. Able to pick up the mid lane tower there with the foul. Baron empowered minions. Okay. Ooh wee. 24 minutes in. 42,000 to 40,000. 13 to 15. Eagles up just a smidge in gold. At this time frame though, that 2,000 doesn't mean too much. We can consider this a pretty easy game we have on our hands right about now. Zaya able to get to her item spikes where she needs to. Once she hits that third item, she'll be feeling really good. Uh, but as always, when you're in AD carry, the thing you have to watch out most for is someone like Silas who's able to delete you off the map in a matter of a second. You do the most damage, but often you do... Well, you don't do, you just have to lose health. Oh, Ryanite getting a solo onto Turtle Wax here. Able to dash in and pick up the solo bolo onto the Sivir there. Tie Dye versus Wing Hong Yu. Wing Hong Yu. Flash for flash. Tie Dye goes down. Mordekaiser are able to pick up the Darius in the top lane here. Should be plenty of time to push out that top uh, tower for him too there. So that should be a tower pickup. Coach any flag and drag goes a little wide. Double knock up from Robot here. Dashes back. Is he able to stay alive? Robot just ticking down from the ignite. Just barely goes down. Uh, the Silas. Silas Jarvan ult comes down on top of Gaia. And the real Jarvan ult comes down this time. Tark able to tank like all those tower shots though. While that tower was. Uh, that Silas dove under tower. Tark able to tank a lot of those shots up in the meantime. Silas. 7, 0, and 3. 600 bounty. That man is going to be the target there for the side of the East. They do have the ability and the tools to take him down, but it's gonna, you're going to have to commit more than one person to it. Silas is one of those deceivingly tanky champions. He doesn't seem too tanky until he gets that shield lifesteal thing right on back. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be 8-0 Silas, 700 gold bounty, 22 Magia's soul skill stacks. That item right there, um, that's a risky one, double-edged sword. It's kind of nice, you can build up stacks for, for kills and assists, and it gives you stats. However, if you die, you lose those stacks. 
or half, I believe. Um, so you do lose a lot of the stacks. Ten stacks upon death. Okay, so you lose ten stacks when you die. So, uh, very, very strong Silas. I believe it stacks up to 25, so he's almost got a full stack. Giant Soul Stealer here. Alright, Dragon. Spawning, we'll see, uh, each side has two. Who's able to pick this up? Sunny does have the posture here. Eagles trying to get what they can, not able to put any flag and drags in and goes down. Mordekaiser is going to get picked up here too. They just weren't able to commit. Uh oh. Daya getting alted by the Mordekaiser alt from the Silas, because that's what he's able to do there. And they pick up three kills and the Drake from the side of Sunny Potsdam here. They're going to be feeling really great off that move. They were able to get to Drake control these zones before the eagle is able to get there. The eagle was unable to contest and um, from there it was just a good front to back team fight from the side of Sunny there. That is not the power you want to try and defend uh, whenever the team is down. Fortunately with all the dashes Robot has it still gets caught down there. That is going to probably be a barren rotate for the side of Sunny here. Looks like they are going to be able to successfully get that. Brian and I will try and do what he can with his gold and bot lane tower here, but that's a huge, huge swing for the side of Sunny Pot. Huge swing. Looks like they were on the back foot for a moment there. They were able to get to that drag area, drag area first. They were able to control the vision around it, get set up first, and the Eagles just couldn't find their way in the pit after that. Hindsight, Coach Denny maybe shouldn't have went in for the steal, but, uh, you know, tough one to swallow whenever the enemy team's taking that drag right there in front of you. I would have went in for the steal, I'm not saying that uh, I'm better, but hindsight says maybe you shouldn't have. Okay, okay, so we're going to see 1-3-1 one, one from the side of Potsdam here. Maybe one top, three middle, one bottom for a three-lane push with the Baron buff here. We'll see if the Eagles are able to hang on, maybe reduce some of the bleeding, see what they can do. Ryanite, I'd say he's actually been playing a pretty good game. Oh, that's not fair. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. You just got taken out there. Uh, <laughs> the Torque was able to catch you with his stun before uh, Ryan was able to back away there. And the Silas with his damage is just out of this world. That Mordekaiser got blown up. Um, unfortunately for Wing Hong Yu there, he got soloed by Silas. So that's going to be two down. Only three to defend inside of the Eagles here. Not looking too good. Uh, Potsdam looking to close out the game sooner than later here. We'll see if they pull back or not, or if he's pushing up. Darwin going in, alt gets two in his alt. It's going to be Rakan follow up, it's a double knockup. Saya damage coming through, however, the Tarak alt. Saya alt comes down, let's see if the flash feather pullback, or not flash feather pullback, Hail Force feather pullback, not quite enough, and that's going to be game number one. So game number one goes to the side of Sunny Ponsdam, post Eagles. That was looking really, really good from both sides. Both teams are playing really well up until that one dragon fight. One dragon fight determines the whole match. Uh, the game was pretty darn even. Eagles just, just couldn't find their way into the dragon pit and overcommitted. Uh, at that point, it wasn't quite soul yet. It was soul point. You probably could have either done one or the other get a better engage or just completely leave the pit let them get drake and cut your losses but unfortunately uh they went a little too far got taken out and wiped by the side of potsdam which gave them barren opportunity which from there on out they were able to successfully close out the game exciting game number one um i'd say pretty well played from both teams there 
Let's update our match score here. That's going to be Pots DM with the first match win here. Whoops. There we go. All right. Well, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, that's uh, exciting match number one there. Uh, we'll be heading into match number two momentarily. Players will take a break. They'll get ready, and we'll get back into draft phase number two. Um, this is post UE Sports, post Eagles, up against Sunny Postam, uh, Potsdam. <laughs> it's gonna be me, your caster, Pyro. Uh, we'll be we'll be back momentarily. A few minutes here as uh, everybody takes a break. And until then, enjoy. Oops. Starting soon. There we go. All right, guys. We'll be right back.
right. Welcome back. Welcome back to our exciting match of Wednesday Night League of Legends. Post Eagles up against Sunny Potsdam. Uh, had a pretty exciting game number one. It was pretty even throughout most of it up until a very decisive dragon fight that really flipped the game on its head and turned it in the side of Potsdam. Um, we'll see how game number two shapes up here as draft has just gone underway. Well, it's actually already been finished on this end of things. However, we will still be waiting for it to finish on the other end of things. Take that over there. <sighs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Alright, looks like for the side of the Eagles here, uh, their staple, Lucian, Nami Lane in the bottom. It's going to be Robot and um, Chrome Sue down there on the bot with uh, Lucian, Nami. I've seen this iteration a few times. Denny thrown in there a few times. Uh, looks like they're taking the Mordekaiser top again, so repeat of that lane. Zack in the jungle, I'd have to assume Denny. Uh, and then it's going to be action again in the middle. So, uh, pretty similar look from the side of the Eagles here. They've added a little more early aggression in their bottom lane. Engage tool was the same in the jungle. Zack, Jarvan, Engage. Pretty similar uh, role to fulfill there. And then Mordekaiser and Action are going to be the same two picks. It does look like Sunny picked up the Zaya Rakan lane, so they did steal that from uh, the side of the Eagles there. Kaysante in the top, Evelyn in the jungle, Rumble in the middle there. You'd have to assume it's going to be Rumble Middle. Is I'm going to assume Rumble Middle, Kaysante Top, Evelyn Jungle, Zaya Rakan in the bot lane there up against the Nami Lucian lane. Action in the middle, Zack Jungle, Mordekaiser Top for the side of the Eagles. So, pretty exciting matchups. Um, a little bit more engage on the side of Sunny here. They didn't seem to need it all too much last time as they weren't the ones to engage the fights. They just re-engaged whenever the Eagles would go in on top of them. Um, we'll see if uh, their strategies are going to differ at all here now that they have the Quesante or Khan abilities to really dive in there. Zack should be able to provide some pretty good early ganks. Uh, they focused pretty heavy in the bottom lane last time. Darwin did go down and gank for Chrome Sue numerous times. They were able to get some kills onto the Zaya. Uh, unfortunately, as the game went on, though, the Silas on the other side was able to pretty much snowball out of control and in two particularly important moments uh, picked out the Zaya in the fight and just one shot her immediately so we'll see if uh, Lucian provides a little bit of a different ability this time around alright about 30 seconds here left on the spectator delay we'll be getting into match number 2 should be some exciting uh, League of Legends ahead of us here The action was a little uneventful. Uh, it was 0-0 zero, zero lane for like the first 10 or 15 minutes. And then one of them died to the other. And that was <laughs> all that really happened in the mid lane there that game. It, it happens. Sometimes it's a neutral lane. But with someone like action, you might want to get around the map a little more. That guy's the rumble in the jungle skin, and he's playing the mid lane rumble. Is that one allowed? <laughs> All right. 
Oh no, spectator bug. How about that? 50 50. Try the last time I can it this time. Get our juicy informational stats. Scoreboard, objective timer. Alright, five man rush from the Eagles here. They might be going for an invade. Let's see it. Level one. Let's add some level one spice to one of these games here. Rakan spots him out. He dashes over the wall. He's going to be able to get out of there. <laughs> spots all five of them running in. A lot of things going down. We'll see uh, everyone disperses back to their respective sides of the jungle. The river. Similar style with the Evelyn, uh, Silas, Evelyn, both heavy AP damage jungles there. I'd say uh, Silas probably Maybe has a little bit more gone. survivability, Evelyn a little bit more damage. Though as we saw last game, that Silas was not lacking in the damage department. <laughs> a lot of pings dropping down here. Okay, it's going to be a top size start from both junglers. We're going to see Zach starting on his blue, Evelyn on her red. It's going to be a uh, assist from top lane here, though, and Mordekaiser's kind of just doing his own thing up in the bush there. Probably trying to get Pryo on level 2. Can't quite see if he's actually doing anything. Mm. So the level 2 spike. Oh, Rakan goes in. Does get Chrome to you here. Very good return damage there. Uh, definitely the, the better trade on the side of Eagles there. Able to get Khan chunked down. But what I was going to say is the level 2 from Chrome to Robot is where they really shine. They're able to get this level 2 first and get a nice dash in. Sometimes you can get a surprise kill that way. Uh, big, big fighting going on in the top lane here. Those Mordekaiser and Kaysante are just duking it out. Heavily trading. Mordekaiser does seem to have the up on that. Although an early roam up from Evelyn here. Let's see if she commits. She decides not to. I don't know if she got spotted out there or just decided not to commit. However, that's going to waste some time on her pathing as Zack is about a camp ahead of her now. Um, Lucian, I mean, gonna try and push this wave in to bounce it off. Looks like they're not gonna be able to, though. Rakan goes in for the engage, uh, but we also have a fight top lane. Okay, okay. Okay, crash in top. No junglers around though, so there should be nothing too much going on there. Botlave uh, trying to crash this in for the timing for Zach to get back here. Uh, we'll see Zach coming back here. He's roaming up now. Gonna try and maybe get an engage if this Rakan steps too far forward. Rakan playing it smart, gets back. If you're just joining us, this is match number two. Uh, Eagles went went down the first match. Unfortunately, it was a pretty good game, though. Uh, very even up until the last dragon fight, which blew open into a baron for the side of Sunny Potsdam there. And they were able to seal the deal. Uh, we're in the game number two here, though. Of course, it's even. It's only four minutes into the game. Ryanite being tagged by the first grief slot. Does get the Evelyn flash done. Ryanite not able to get out of there. Gets caught on the dash away and goes down for first blood that is a flash ignite committed by both evelyn and rumble however we'll take that that is a first blood onto the evelyn there who was the uh sir griefs a lot was the one to hyper scale the silas for them last game and able to take out the zaya which was the Eagles' main hope for accomplishing their team fight goal. Mm -hmm. Our great 
Mordecai's lost, coming to find his way top here, able to get the stun onto Mordekaiser. Uh, Mordekaiser trying to stay alive, throws up an enormous shield. Coach Denny here with a nice... Hits both of them. Oh. The Evelyn does go down. Coach Denny trying to get what he can done on the Tide Eye. is able to take out Wang Hong Yu. Unfortunately, the Mordekaiser comes back. Hey, Sante able to take him down. Coach Denny trying to get some... Some uh, cheesy kills here. Oh, and he goes down to his passive. Uh, probably won't be able to take him down though. Uh, Zach, it's passive. Instead of dying, he pops into those bubbles, uh, little blobs, I guess you could say. And then uh, if you don't kill those blobs, he'll come back alive with about that much health. Um, fun little mini game that happens sometimes. Pretty long cooldown though, so it's not like he always has that up. Trying to do what he can. Oh, gets the pullback under tower and the Mordecai. This should be a kill here. Coach Denny to pick up Tie Dye. Tie Dye playing with fire, that staying as long as he did uh, with the Zack around there. That's going to be two kills on to Coach Denny Zack. Not exactly the person you want to have all the gold, but it doesn't hurt either to have your engaged tool have a little extra gold. Evelyn up on a little CS here as Denny had to take care of that top wave a little extra time span up there. You're going to see Chrome Zoo up in the CS department. CS meaning grief score, of course. Uh, up. So yeah, Chrome Zoo's up 52 to 41 on the Zaya. No kills bought yet, and we might see a fight happening here though, as uh, Chrome's you going in up to Zaya. Zach does go in, doesn't find a knockup unfortunately though. Uh, no kills going down there. Maybe a re-engage with Han looking for an angle here, does Zaya? No follow up there. Zach re-engaging, gets two of them. Oh, Chrome's who taking down Turtle Wax. Coach Denny flashing out of there with the slightest sliver of health. He didn't have pass at that time either. He would have been dead for real. Uh, able to get out of there. They just pick up Zaya. In that crazy fight there. We're going to see Tai and Wing home. And kind of still juicing it out. Ryan Knight coming in with an alt. Not really doing all too much there. Unfortunately, he gets tagged by Evelyn. And he's definitely got to walk away there. Zaya going down in the bot lane. They were looking for a re-engage angle where Khan walking really forward and uh, Zach was able to get back onto Zaya there. However, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one here. Tai-Dai takes down Wing Hong Yu. Uh, Mordekaiser does ult in there. However, plenty of damage and knock up from the side of Kaysante there. They get the solo kill. Okay, so they actually just dodged out on uh, Mordekaiser's abilities and damage. Okay, Sante's a very tanky person with a lot of dashes. Oh boy. Alright, alright, alright. Um, approaching the 10 minute mark, so Rift Herald is up. Zero Drakes have been taken yet. It's only about a 700 gold lead for the side of uh, Sunny here. Kills are even, 3-3. Three three. So we're looking pretty even into the early game here. Um, we'll see who's maybe pressuring for one of these neutral objectives. Neither of them have been taken yet. A lot of times the neutral objectives, especially when you're playing uh, not solo queue and you're playing five on five, or like working together, uh, you, you need an advantage in the lane in order to get the neutral objectives. The calling comes out on Chrome Suit just to get a lot of good poke. However, no follow-up commitment there. Yeah, so as far as the neutrals will go, like uh, for example, if you win the push on bottom, get a kill or two bottom, you're now open to drag because your bot lane's open for it. Most places are going to the top, of course. There we go, the one on one's happening again. Tie Dye versus Wang Hong Yu, Mordecai's Repulse comes out. So 
Devil Knight doesn't have it, actually. Hitting those big hammers, though. Getting some damage down. Grumps you. Grumble here. Probably not what he expected. That's going to be four of them there in the bot lane. That should be a plenty enough setup for the dragon. So as we are talking about, you need some pressure through a lane. Take out the bot lane or rotate it up to the dragon there. Christian, he might be looking for a steal here. Probably cost him his life to see how much of a dangling man he is. Takes the flyby. Doesn't fully commit there. <laughs> You actually have enough time to snipe while you do that if you time it right. Pick the perfect. Um, there have been plays where people steal the drag like that. Just flying over a Zack and you just smite it as you're flying by. It's pretty dismal from the other team. You feel pretty legendary yourself if you pull it off. Okay. So first Drake did go down to uh, Potsdam there. They were able to take out. Oh boy. Warcouts are getting knocked out, followed up by the Evelyn here, able to do plenty of damage. That's gonna be a four to one Evelyn, four one and one. Ran her Colt Alni on her head. Looking like a little bit of a replay of the last game, except she's piloting Evelyn this time instead of Silas. Coach Denny here gonna find himself in a good spot, so they have to fall out of here. However, they might have a re-engage onto the Evelyn. Oh, uh, maybe not. But Evelyn calls to execute the back here. They had to take a little extra time. Ooh, Ryanite able to take down the Evelyn. Nice bounty gold goes over to Ryanite's action. Um, that is also going to respawn Coach Denny, if you realized it. <laughs> so, uh, action passive. Hold on as we go to Mordekaiser. Oh, Rumble stuck in the Mordekaiser realm. Let's see what he can do. Shift and feed. Pack of Flash does get out of there. Asante is able to put enough PC down on him. And they do have enough follow-up damage to take down the Mordekaiser there. Uh, Flash used by the Rumble in order to stay alive there and able to take out the Mordekaiser. Chrome's you going down in the 2 on a lot of action, a lot of fighting, oh my goodness. Bloodbath everywhere, that's gonna be... Oh boy, we'll recap it now here. Uh, 12, 13 minutes into the game, 4 kills for the Eagles, 19k gold, 10 kills, 22k for the side of Potsdam here. It's gonna be night of a nice, uh... A little bit of a gold lead there they just picked up in literally the last minute or two as all of those fights broke out. A um, few people dying. Uh, Evelyn definitely on the path to being pretty fed. Zach coming in trying to find this Rakan here. He might have to be a little careful as Zaya stacking those feathers up on him there. Grim's you finding his way back up. The, uh, Evelyn rotating down in Rumble. Uh, they're going to have to be careful in the bottom lane here as Evelyn and Rumble are both rotating down. Sir Griefs a lot does find Zach, however, isn't able to get enough damage. He is able to with the ult finish it off. Grooms, who unfortunately falls too. That's going to be a double kill for the Evelyn there. She's able to pick up to retain her status of continuing to be fed. It's going to be 7, 2, and 3, 300 gold bounty on Evelyn, and then 3, 0, and 5, 300 gold bounty on Rumble there, pretty sneakily. They've been 1v1ing every time they've walked top lane. Let's see who wins this one. Hmm. The Kaysante third Q, the knockback. Evelyn, Evelyn again. She's just finding all of these kills. Gonna look the X Tech dash in there, and she. <laughs> okay. She does not find all of these kills. He goes down to the tower, no tag by Wang Hong. He's Mordekaiser are there, and she just dies as an execute to the tower. Zach, however, able to get a nice dash in onto Tai Dai here, knocks him up. Tai Dai able to take down Mordekaiser in the solo, though. Coach Denny now, not sure if he can finish this one off. He probably can't. Tai Dai's got three levels on him. Kaysante. 
flashes under tower and kills Zack and lives. I don't even know if I believe that. I saw the flash. I didn't think he was going to get enough damage or live, and he did both. Well, that's the three level advantage he had there. Uh, Potsdam taking the top lane there, too. Maybe looking to rotate over to this second Herald. Second. The first one ever get taken. I don't think either team even ever got that. Well, there's Evelyn rotating back down to the bottom. She's just everywhere this directed camera is. Oh, dashing in the Chrome Shoe doesn't quite get him, but they do find a knock up on the Nami. Nami goes down, Sir Grief Slot picks up. He had another kill. Uh, Chrome Sue coming out with the calling doesn't quite get enough damage down there. Just trying to do what he can to keep the pressure off. But this uh, Evelyn seems to be everywhere on the map. This is going to give them yet another opportunity to pick up the second Drake here. Eagles trying to pick up what they can. Pick up this uh, Rift Herald here. This could be a fight here for them as Rumble's trying to fight three of them in two. Uh, Ryan, I need to get back in there and some damage. Up comes Evelyn, though. This could be bad now with Evelyn here. However, if they're able to take down this Evelyn, that would be even better for them. She's stuck in the Mordekaiser ult. Ooh, Mordekaiser Q just off cooldown. Not quite enough. He does fall. So that's going to be three deaths for the side of the Eagles there. Mordekaiser, Zack, and action all go down. Rumble did drop. That's a one for three. Oh, oh, this could be very good. Lucian comes in, picks up a ginormous shutdown on Evelyn there. Evelyn fell flash. Feels a little bad over the wall there. Uh, <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. However, that's a nice uh, shutdown pickup for Chrome's. You'll see what he's able to do with that influx of gold. Okay, Sante looking pretty menacing in his own right. He's very tanky, has a lot of dashes, gonna be a hard man to take down. Doesn't do nearly as much damage as someone like Evelyn. However, he's doing enough damage to kill somebody like uh, Lucian. Okay, here we go. He is going in on the Lucian. Does pick up the kill on the Lucian with the ult, unfortunately, but there it is. Mordekaiser ults him into his realm, he says, he just says not that he dies. Unfortunately, Robot trying to do what he can. But this is a level 13 Kesante with plenty of dashes. Probably going to be able to go. Oh, not quite. Zack coming in. Just misses. <laughs> Action alt following in here. Does nothing. I don't know. Um, my goodness. Okay, well that guy finally dies. Uh, oh, I didn't get to go over action past the fire left. That's a fun one. So, Lucian and Mordekai could just respawn because uh, they had not death time. So, action past it, and you get the killer or the but they kill somebody, they get respawned. A bunch of these big fight happening. Uh, that's two down for the side of Eagles. One return, though. Um, pretty low health bar on Zaya there. Well, we were going over Action's passive there. There was a big fight, of course. Some legal spell. I think it was a two for two on each side of the map there. Um, tower did drop, so a little bit point advantage to the side of Sunny there. However, for the Eagles, you, you can't take a few kills when you're down 8 to 23. So if you pick up a few kills, you'll be pretty happy about that. 7k gold lead, almost 20 minutes into the game here for the side of Potsdam. Uh, good kill lead too, of course. Evelyn hunting. She's hunting in the enemy jungle here. Evelyn's passive, for those not familiar. She's camouflaged unless she gets too close to all of somebody. So right now they can't see her, can't see her. Now they know she's there. Okay, goes in on the Lucian. Probably a one tap. Pretty easy there. Um, quite unfortunate. As Chrome's who's definitely going to be one of the people that uh, Eagles are going to need to play through here. 
Border Kaiser only having one item isn't gonna really help the Eagles too much either. They're definitely on the back foot here. Let's see what the Eagles can do to pull out a win here. Coach Denny disengaging with his alt. Uh, Tie-dye fighting win on you under the power pulls off a huge disengage. Uh, that is a crazy displacement there, but that is Quesante's call. Robot trying to do what he can under the tower. Not going to be able to see much done. Gets taken out by this Quesante. Oh, oh, Quesante almost going down the tower. Might be able to pick up, uh, oh, not quite. Has to flash out of there as Rhino comes in with his own camouflage. Plenty of damage coming down. The calling comes from Chrome Sue. Not quite enough damage lands. They're going to have to be careful because this everyone's about to come. And uh, doesn't need to be as unfortunately there's plenty of CC from the pawn there. Rakan ults in, taunts both of them up, gives them the time for Zaya to put down her damage, take them out. Okay, as Sunny now attacking the top lane, there's only two defenders from the Eagle, so one defender from the Eagle. Oh, Rakan gets taken down. That's one death there. That's going to be four still pushing top here. Four strong and good. Just two for now. Um, as another person gets deleted off the map by this Evelyn. 14, 4, 5, 3 items. 25 stats. So, it's your giant. 25 stacks on the Soul Stealer, gonna provide for plenty of additional stats. She gets killed though, of course, she loses 10 stacks, but whew, from this point in the game, it's not looking too good for the Eagles or see if they're able to do anything to come back. Uh, partially gonna be relying a little bit more on a mess up from the side of Sunny here. Maybe, uh, Maybe Ryan is able to pick up a kill or two here. Uh, Rumble Splash is kind of there. Yeah. Um, Sir Greaves a lot, hunting, still prowling the enemy jungle here as the third Drake goes spawn. They'll pick it up as a little consolation. They don't even really need it at this point. They are 12k gold ahead. It's looking like quite the landslide of a game here from Sunny Potsdam. Unfortunately for the Eagles, they are definitely behind. Um, I'm an underdog rooter though. Saying you're never down and out. There's definitely an opportunity here. Uh, plenty of uh, bounties on the side of Sunny here. Eagles could pick up. Not just champion ones though. There's the neutral objective bounties too, right? So even if they pick up one or two of these bounties and then snowball it into some of these other bounties, uh, Nami's gone. Um, then they'd be able to get some gold back in their pockets. These towers are all with additional gold. Uh, Mordekaiser getting caught out there. Okay, here we go. Uh, probably the final fight here as Sunny crashes into the enemy base. Um, he's going to be taking out some inhibitors, takes out Ryan, I, and Wing Hong Yu. Robot will be respawning here. It'll be three on five here. Let's see if the Eagles can put up some type of defense. It's been a tough match here with this Evelyn tearing them apart as he kills the uh, firms yet again. Coach Denny going to dive in there, try and get what kind of last defense down he can. Oh, Evelyn might drop here. Evelyn does drop here. If something's going to happen, good trade here with these three. A lot of bounties. A lot of bounties to go over. Let's see if Mordekaiser can pick up this tie-dye. Tie-dye is so, so tanky. Mordekaiser having such a hard time as these minions are finishing off the base. Even if they do get it, they have to kill this. Oh! They kill Zaya. Can they get these minions in time? I think they can. They're going to hold on to the game just a little bit longer. And since Action got the kills there, that's going to be respawn time and reset all five of the wheels back out onto the map. If there's ever a time for them to come back, it is now. All the uh, shutdown gold went over to them. Of course, their base is in shambles. However, their respawn timers have been reset thanks to Action's passive. Um, action comes back, picks up those kills, resets everybody's death timers there, and uh, gets everybody else back out on the map, able to clear these minions, bring some gold back into their pockets. We got that shutdown gold in their hands. 
<sighs> Still a long road ahead of them if they are to pull off a victory, but that is the, uh, the slimmest glimmer of hope that they definitely needed. Sunny probably going to be looking to set up this Baron, get some vision down around. I don't even know if the Eagles can contest. They might just want to absorb what farm and experience they can from the Super Minion pushing into them. It's looking like it's the call. You lose one or two on a contest there. That is probably game. However, it's still close to game as once they pick this Baron up, they're going to be coming in the um, so Graves a lot finds Ryanite there in the mid lane, able to pick him up. <clears throat> to be fair, that's not where you'd probably think Evelyn is whenever they are doing the bearing, so that was quite a sneaky play there from the Evelyn, able to pick up one player there. Uh, however, she's way ahead of her team and does go down, so that's going to be a grief from Grace a lot. Let's see what happens here from the rest of the Eagles, though. Are they able to pull off a decisive defense here as their nexus is open with just about half health. Are they able to defend? Uh, no, unfortunately not. For a second there you thought maybe, just maybe, there was the slimmest glimmer of both the Eagles had a comeback there, uh, but it, it did not happen. That's going to be game number two to Sunny Potsdam there. Uh, they are able to pick up another decisive victory. So that's going to be match score number two. Uh, Point two, Sunny Potsdam. They take the match for the night. Pretty impressive games there. Had some fun casting. Some hopefully you had some fun watching. Um, as always, this is Post U Esports. Uh, I'm Pyro, your caster. This was the Post Eagles up against Sunny Potsdam, week eight. Um, gonna be Sunny Potsdam took the win for this week. And yeah, pretty exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, unfortunately the Eagles couldn't quite pick up a win there. The first game, I would say they had a better opportunity. The second game slipped away a little bit faster than the first game did there. So we shall see what they're able to do going into these last few weeks of the season. Um, provided there are more. But yeah, until the next time, I'm Pyro, your caster. It's been a pleasure. Please have a good night and enjoy.